customer, then if people just carried on like it was business as usual. So, Brandon, just clarify. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry, go on. Peter, is that you no, I, coming in? Yes, it, do. It mustn't, it mustn't seem irrational or punitive. I think it's very important that people understand you know, when they're following the science and they're doing things which are not going to promote infection. But I personally can't see what's wrong with sitting down and taking a bit of sun. I mean, the sun is very bad for this virus. It damages its genetic material. So you know, that seems a fair enough thing to me. Brandon? Mm. Oh, well, I'd say I think people should be getting out there, getting that exercise. So, what we've, we've got so what are we to make of that, then? We have Peter saying, well, look, if you want to sit, sit well, down I get for a few the minutes, why no, not? No, I get the logic of what Peter's saying. The reason we're saying to people not to go and hang around and uh, go sunbathing and relaxing in places is once one or two people start... As we said, I represent a seaside resort. If people start coming to the beach to take their exercise but actually are relaxing and sunbathing on the beach, suddenly we'll end up with the same number of people on the beach as we have in a peak Easter. We cannot have that. So we have to say to people, go out and get your exercise, follow social distancing, but other than that, please stay at home. And that will mean we can all come through this and enjoy our sunbathing later this year or next year, and we will all be here to do it, and the NHS will be able to get us to that point. So the basic message is you can go out...